Welcome! In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy A25 and today I will show you how you can boot this device into recovery mode. Now with that being said, you will need a cable that is plugged into specifically your computer for this to work. So either I have one already plugged in, so this is the other end obviously. And all we need to do is just plug it in. There we go. You probably heard the computer there we go. Uh, sound that it detected that it's connected. Uh, anyway, from here, you can either unlock it or not. It's completely up to you. Hello, access. We don't need that. So anyway, from here, we're going to select our power button, then choose power off. And once the device turns off, so once the screen goes black, hold your power button and volume up at the same time. I am going to let go of the power button once the Galaxy logo shows up, specifically the Galaxy Edition. And then once the recovery mode shows up, you can also let go of the volume up as well. Now, we can also get rid of the cable. It was only needed to get us into here. It's Samsung being a little bit annoying because why would it be as simple as it is on other devices? They just needed to add additional step to make it more annoying. But once you put into here, uh, you don't need the cable anymore, so you can get rid of it. Once in this mode, you can use volume buttons to navigate down or up, depending on which one you press, and power button will be used to confirm whatever is selected. Now, with that being said, let's go over the options that we have access to. So, first one, we have Reboot System Now, which is just a way to get back into our Android system. Reboot to bootloader, which takes us back, takes us to uh, fast boot mode because there is no bootloader. Apply updates from ADB or SD card. Wipe data. Cache partition. Mount system. View logs. Run tests. Power off and repair apps. So those are all the options. Now I am going to confirm the first one, reboot system now by pressing power button, which like I mentioned before, will take me back to Android. And there we go. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.